fantastic friends. What's up, wonderful watchers? What's up, my perfect people? Hey, guys. Hope you have an amazing day so far. We are on our way to drop A off. It's a respite care. Uh, something that's provided if you're doing foster care to give you a little break. It has been a while since we've had a day. Yeah, since we've been alone, actually, yeah, without kids. <laughs> so, our biological children are with our, with Cheney's uh, parents. And then A is going to a family for the weekend. We're gonna miss them. We already miss our kids, but with A, this will be the first time that we uh, are gonna be separated, so. Yeah, honestly, it feels a little weird because um, I've never met the respite care people, so I feel like I'm dropping my child off with a stranger. It feels a little weird. Yeah. But, um, so what is our plans for today without kids? Well, Do you have a plan? We uh, we have some auction stuff to pick off to pick up to pick off. To pick off, <laughs> down, down, down. We're going to pick off the auction stuff. <laughs> down under <laughs> from Australia. You you are like way up north. I know. I'm in Canada. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, um. So it's been a one week since my surgery, my vasectomy surgery, and so right now I feel sensitivity, and tenderness, and a little bit of pain still left left side of my surgery um, hopefully that'll be gone by the end of the day but so far I mean I've been able to start walking <laughs> uh, we'll see at the end of the day if it sometimes it flares up if I you know been walking a lot been on my feet a lot um, but so far so good so my, my plan for today without kids is to go to places we haven't gone and we've wanted to go. So there's a donut place in Waco called uh, Midnight... Not, I think it's Nightlight. Night, Nightlight Donuts? Nightlight, yeah. Yeah, night, Nightlight Donuts. Yeah, it's called Nightlight Donuts and Coffee. It's a new place that opened up in Waco. We've had their donuts before at a foster event, and we really liked them. So, and, and Chaney's raving about the uh, donut poles. Oh my gosh, they're not donut poles. They're like, that's what they're called, but they're like, they're massive. They're so good. Massive donut holes. We went to Round Rock Donuts after his surgery, and I think that these donuts at night Expectations are high right now. Oh, <laughs> Y'all get that way where you know your expectations are high, and then when you get there and it's not quite exactly living up to your expectations, and so you, you kind of get you know a little then, bummed out. And then it ruins the whole day. He's well, so bad at this. It doesn't ruin my day. It ruins. Yeah. And then maybe <laughs> I do project. I do, maybe I do project some sort of feeling of uh, letdown and so Cheney often has to deal with that and, uh, she doesn't like it when I I'm not in a happy. bad mood <laughs> <laughs> he's not allowed to ever be in a bad mood I can't mood. have bad moods <laughs> can't have a bad time I just want you to be happy all the time that's so bad <laughs> that's awesome okay we just dropped A off with the respite care provider. They are awesome. So. Is, we feel weird. This is the first time we have, I feel weird. It's the first time we have not had a child with us uh -huh. in like five months. Yeah, five months. Feels weird. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, with Henry, since he, you know, he's been a baby. 
Yeah. Okay, so first time we haven't had a child with us in almost 10 months. Then. Yeah, yeah, 10 months. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, since Henry was born, we really, you know, I haven't let him out of our sight. <laughs> um, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah. Let's go back to what your plan for this weekend. Okay, so my plan for this weekend is to like I said go to places we have we haven't gone to that we wanted to go to hopefully some of these places we wanted to go to are open <laughs> yeah but what, uh what places are you wanting to go to oh uh, well um you know that uh that one pizza place or magnolia table slow rise no 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 the the other one Bor Ber berries or whatever Oh, the fancy place? Yeah, the fancy oh. place. Yeah, the fancy place. The fancy pizza place. <laughs> yeah, we went, We tried to go one time, and we walked over there, and there are people, like, walking in there with, like, black black tie outfits and, like, super fancy. And we're in just jeans and a t-shirt. We're like, I think we're underdressed. Yeah. So we'll come back later. <laughs> yeah. And that was, what, two years ago? Yeah. And so, there's, there's two things that I try to be a uh, connoisseur or a snob of. It's hamburgers and pizza. <laughs> so I look up places that we haven't gone to and, you know, um, try to go to them. I mean, yeah, we like know, to go to new places. and Yeah, try to try new places. There's... I mean, there's so many people that, you know, have their favorites and they just go there. And I feel like you're missing out on so much that, you know, potential. All right, for lunch, we've decided to go to a barbecue joint called Hellberg Barbecue in Crawford, Texas. Oh, it's all the way in Crawford? It's not too far. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on the outskirts of Waco. Probably the, the best barbecue I've had in the Waco area so far. Real good, uh, just well done meat, and not not like um, overdoing it on the spices or anything like that. Uh, just your traditional barbecue, very well done. I've had the brisket and the ribs from here already, so I've try, I've opted to try the hamburger. I've heard great things about the hamburger, and then Cheney's having the pulled brisket sandwich. Yep. All right. Was it? Oh my gosh, it's so drippy. That patty okay. is so smoky and good. Just, oh my gosh. It's thick. I think that's the main attraction is the patty. The rest of it's all right. The bread, the bread's good, cheese is good. I mean, regular stuff, but I haven't had a patty like that. And that's real good. All right, guys. Just got done eating lunch at Hellberg Barbecue near Crawford, and what do you think? That was good. It's real good. It Cheney's first time going there. My second time. So here's what I do when I go to new places. I like to. I, I have certain things that I like. Like for barbecue, I like pulled pork sandwiches. So I like to get them and then compare them to the other pulled pork sandwiches I have. And that one was pretty good. I mean, it's a pulled pork sandwich, but the sauce that you got, I got, what is it? Sweet and smoky or something like that? S smoky red? something? Yeah. Oh, smoky red. Smoky red, yeah. That was really good. It was sweet, yeah. so if you like sweet barbecue, that's for you. Like uh, I was saying before, you know, they do barbecue really well. You know, nothing too fancy on the barbecue. Um, just excellent smoky flavors with salt and pepper, pretty much. 
yeah so go check them out guys and uh, I hope y'all enjoy it so we just got done stopping at uh, night light donuts and we got a bag of donut holes and this is not what I was expecting for a donut hole. <laughs> this looks like a just a regular donut. I told you they're huge. <laughs> These are huge. I mean, if this is the donut hole, which the donut hole is supposed to be the part taken out of the center of the donut. So, are their donuts just massive? No, they're not. I think they just... They reinvented the donut reinvented hole. Reinvented their donut hole. Called these donut holes and... Yeah. Glazed. They look good. That's a good donut hole. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? It has a flaky. Uh, flaky, like a croissant texture. The glaze is real I think good. That's what it is. Yeah. Because they have croissant donuts. Oh, so yeah, maybe they do croissant donuts. Yeah. But yeah, pretty good. <laughs> a difference of opinion on this one. Like yeah, they're good. First time I had one, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh. They're different. They are different. They're worth it. Okay, so Kenny just got back. Well, I say just got back. He got back a while ago with this thing that we got on auction. Um, but I pumped and then we watched some How I Met Your Mother. And now we're ready to go. So I can't wait to put it together and show you, but I thought we would just put it all together, together, <laughs> and uh, then you'll see. I'm so excited.
took us almost five hours <laughs> so but difficult it's done oh my goodness like it's centered on the wall but it doesn't look like it is where i'm standing triple bunk bed triple so cool i am not looking forward to changing the sheets oh <sighs> i'm exhausted are you ready for bed i am we're gonna sleep on the bottom bunk. <laughs> oh man, now I gotta do, I gotta take all that stuff down. Can I climb the ladder? Sure. Oh, yeah. It's scary, right? Yeah, that part's hard. Yeah, that, that step is hard. It's a, it's a ladder, <laughs> for sure. Ooh, are you scared? <laughs> How's that been? It's good. Good. It's so cool. Wow. Let me let me do this. Oh wow! Look, so cool. Crazy. Yep. To think I went from absolutely no bunk beds to a triple bunk bed. <laughs> I think the kids would be scared up here. Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. I'm gonna get up there. Woo. Anyway, that is the end of our first kid-free day. We're gonna go to sleep. I don't even know what time it is. It's so late. It's, yeah, probably like two o'clock in the morning, maybe. I'm exhausted. So we are gonna go to bed. Yes. get up in the morning i'm getting a massage we're gonna get lunch somewhere fun and then we're coming back here and we're watching movies all day right yes can't wait it's gonna be fun yeah all right Relax. thanks for hanging out with us today we'll uh see you tomorrow good morning it's like 
10 o'clock, 10, 15. But I'm heading to, um, oh, this is day two of our kid free day. And I'm headed to get a massage right now. <laughs> There's a place here in Waco that is, um, they have like an hour massage and then a chiropractic adjustment right after. And Kenny, anytime we got a massage, we were like, oh, we really need to have like a chiropractic thing afterwards. Cause well, okay. We got one massage one time and we were so sore. <laughs> it was awful. And then anytime I get, um, like an adjustment from a chiropractor, I think we should really have like a massage afterwards. And then, so we've been saying for years, they should have like a place that you have a massage and a chiropractic adjustment at the same, you know, the, together. Anyway, of course, Facebook pops up this place on my phone and I'm like, yes. So I got it for him last year. I don't remember. It was a surprise. I think, oh, oh, it was a, you finished all the work in the house so we can get a license for foster care surprise. So, so I took him, um, it was a deal like an hour massage and then a, an adjustment for like $50. So we got there, turns out ours because our, um, insurance covers it. It was only $10 for the hour massage. And if we went to like a 45 minute massage, it was free. I'm like, man, I should have done 45 minute massages. But anyways, um, so yeah, so we've ended up paying for like eight, uh, sessions for us for, for the rest of the year for both of us. And, um, I have one more left. And so it's, you know, a quarter of the way through, uh, well, almost, uh, no, yeah, I guess it's like a quarter of the way through the 2021 and I'm finally getting the last one, but I may schedule more because ugh, I'm hurting so bad. But anyway, I am really excited. I hope that they focus on this one spot on my back that really, really needs it. But yeah, so I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to come home and we're just going to lay around until dinner time. And then Kenny said he wants to go to this fancy pizza pizza place. So that's what we're going to do. Oh crap. Okay. <laughs> so I'm back home, got my massage. It was the best massage I had ever gotten. Um, but we stopped, I stopped and got Hawks. Oh, here this, this, is it just Waco, a Waco store? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good. I got, um, chicken strips with like the blueberry preserve sauce mm. and then some salt fries can you got some drumsticks over there right uh, yep, drumsticks. there's the drumsticks Ooh, those fries are very salty wow those are cool looking yeah but anyway this place we've already had before a couple times well i've had it once kenny's had it a few times really good uh, look it up. Really tasty. Yeah. So now we're gonna watch. Are we gonna watch Angels and Demons? Is that what it's called? Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, I'm excited. We're just gonna hang out at home and do nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Living the life. Hello. So, um, day two of being kid free. We. Um, my face looks so shiny. Like I said earlier, I went and got um, a massage, and uh, that was the best massage ever. Oh my gosh, it felt so good. Um, and I came back home, and we ate, and we watched a couple movies, and now we're heading to... Where are we going again? Tajin. Oh yeah, Tajin. It's a... What I love. It's a raw fish.
on filming at Tajin, but it was top notch and I will, well, I think it was. I don't know what Kenny's thinking. Actually, I do, but he's, he's out of his mind. Anyway, I loved it. I'll post, like, insert some photos of our food here. All, that's all I did was take a couple pictures. Today's been a busy day. I went to church. I went and picked up the kids from Fort Worth. Um, then we went to Arlington and picked up some stuff from an auction. And then I came back home, dropped off the girls and all that stuff, and then went to Waco and got um, A from the respite care. So it has been busy, busy, busy. But um, we had a great weekend. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna take it back. Sorry. We had a great weekend. Um, and hoping maybe we can do it again. Maybe for our anniversary. I don't know. It's in a couple months. We'll see. But I had to give these kids a bath. We just ate some pizza and um, it's seven o'clock. Kenny is finishing up mowing. Um, I might go video that for a second. And then, yeah, that was our weekend. Thanks for spending time with us. <laughs> Sorry I didn't like finish it out. Basically all we did yesterday was after we went to eat, we got Andy's frozen custard, which if you're anywhere near an Andy's frozen custard and you haven't gone yet, you're crazy. But um, so good. Uh, so yeah, we, we ate Tajin, went to Andy's, and came back home and watched, well, Caroline, what are you doing? Caroline took, took the whole camera away from me. Went to Andy's. Um, and then came back home and tried to watch Gladiator, but I started falling asleep, so that was our date night weekend. Anyway, it was fun. It was taking Kenny all weekend to get this mower started. He ended up having to go buy a new battery, but there he is mowing our yard. And he's doing a little better. Still a little sore, he says, but doing good. Wow, our yard looks so big. Oh, <laughs> it's mag—it's on the like 0.5 magnified. Let's put it on regular. There we go.